Hey, JC. All right, if Star Wars was the last, the last Jedi left you wondering what happens next, J.J. Abrams knows the filmmaker who's directing and co-writing Star Wars Episode Nine. told Stephen Colbert on The Late Show, we have a script, it starts shooting end of July, which is super exciting. Abrams <laughs> also co-wrote and directed The Force Awakens and was the producer on The Last Jedi. An auction house based out of London is planning to sell nearly three hours of footage of a young Beyonce. The company, Ted Owen & Co., claims to have 19 master tapes of Beyonce starting from 90, 1992. The tapes show Beyonce performing and shooting music videos. These tapes were found in a storage unit. The collection has been coined the Lost Beyonce Collection. I would love to see that. <laughs> I love Beyonce. <laughs> Now, if you're a fan of 90s movies, you've definitely seen Brandon Fraser on the big screen, but you haven't seen him for quite some time now. Brandon Fraser has been opening up over his Hollywood hiatus. Over the past decade, the 49-year-old star went through a divorce, lost his mother to cancer, and underwent surgeries as a result of stunts performed on The Mummy, and was also traumatized by an unwanted encounter in Hollywood. Frazier claims Philip Burke inappropriately, inappropriately grabbed him. Frazier commented on the incident and said, I felt ill. Frazier said, I felt like a little kid. I felt like there was a ball in my throat and I thro felt like I was going to cry. Ooh. Yeah. Janelle Monet fans rejoice. The singer just dropped two new songs, the Django Jane and an anthem about race and gender, Make Me Feel. Funkier track featuring actress Tessa Thompson in the video. Monet also revealed her long-awaited third solo album, Dirty Computer, that will drop April 27th. Now, it's no secret that celebs like to keep pregnancies under wraps. This remains the case for The Notebook actress Rachel McAdams. Multiple, multiple sources have confirmed the E! News that McAdams is expecting her first child. McAdams has not confirmed the news herself, but recent pictures show her wearing a baggy clothing, so it might be there. Aww. Yep. After the break, we are sitting down with our friends from the Message Theater to learn more about the upcoming show, The Meeting. They're up next.